My name is Tim Swanson, and I'm, I don't want to say I started all this, because I did. By putting someone in there that wasn't qualified, I started it all, and I had to act. Based on the fact that I've been sheriff for 13 years, I've sat on the Buckeye State Sheriff's Association for help design and implement the rules to become the next sheriff. There's a special section of that law that provides for state highway patrolmen that we gave into several years, which George would have also fallen under if at the time wasn't a factor. Let me explain how this started. Mike McDonald came down with terminal illness. I was with him in hospice. Randy was there, there was other people we constantly visited. One day he said to me, Tim, I can't do this. I'm not gonna be able to take off. We're both crying. Not only was he my chief deputy, but he was my best friend. He said, who are we going to get to, to take my place? I said, I don't know. I'll go back to the office and I'll ask around to the people in the office because we like to promote from within. They've been there. They know the ropes. They know the procedures. They know how to conduct business. I went back and I interviewed three candidates. Brought them in one at a time. And only one candidate came back to me and said that he was interested, and that was Lou Derrick. So I went back to Mike the next day, and I told him that. He was elated. Let's get behind Lou. I said, okay. Now, if he had any dealings with Randy and George about maybe George coming on as the sheriff's office someday or being a chief deputy, Tim Swanson don't know anything about that. I know nothing about that. Randy calls me up and says, could you come down to Tom Burnaby's office and meet with us? And I said, yes, sir, I can. And I went directly down. Sat in Tom Burnaby's office, and Randy got George Meyer on, on the telephone, on the speakerphone. That is the first time, and I swear to you as I stand here, that I find out that George Meyer is interested in being sheriff. First time. I'm behind him. I said, George, we talked a lot on the phone, and I said, George, if you qualify, and meet the qualifications, I'm on your corner. I'll back you 100%. And I'll tell Lou to take a back seat. Honest to God as I stand here, that's what I told him. And Randy turned to me and said, Can you hire as a chief deputy? And he said, No, I can't do that. Well, maybe if he got on, he may have a little problem with being out of law enforcement too long. I said, George, you need to check into that, because you may have a problem with that. And George is very convenient. I got, I got no bones with George Meyer. Even though he's pissed off at me now, and his family's all pissed off at me, I'm just doing what I got to do to make sure there's a qualified person there. And I don't give a shit if they don't like me or not. Okay? Now, I think he made a great sheriff, and I told him that on the phone. I think he's done a damn good job when he was there. I got no beef with any of that. But there's qualifications, there's rules, and you elected me to uphold the law and to follow the rules. Damn it, that's what I'm doing. I've never bullshitted you, I've never lied to you, and I've never misled you. I've been honest with you. I mean, I always liked what I had to say, but damn it was the truth. And I never put my political career in front of my position as sheriff. My common saying at the sheriff's office, and any staff meeting or any issue that comes before us, was we will do the right thing in spite of everything else. We will do what's right. Don't worry about Tim Swanson getting elected again. That's my job. You worry about this being a good, run, well-run office. And I think George was running a good office. He was doing a damn fine job. I got no bitches, and I've told him that over and over again. And I've told everybody I've talked to that. But there's rules. There's right there. Every single thing you got to ask three pages in order to be sheriff. Damn it. George was lacking one. All he has to do now, if he wants to work at Harrison County, is get promoted to some kind of supervisory rank and be in that position for two years, and he can then get on the ballot. And he'll probably win. He'll probably do a good job. I think I, when he was up for colonel, I wrote a letter for him. I was co-chairman with him on the, the state interoperability committee. I backed him 100% when he took the job for Cassie Catazar Perry and told him anything we could do for you over there, you let us know. 
I've known the kid ever since he was in Lawrence Township, in the Hartville, and then went with the State Patrol. I've known John, I've known Chuck, I've known their father, I know their mother, I know the whole family. This isn't a personnel issue. This isn't a personal issue with me and them. They made it that way. They got mad at me and bad off me. But I'm sorry, I had to do what I had to do. You elected me to be an honest sheriff. I took an oath to uphold the law. And I uphold the law. You can't ever say that Tim Swanson fixed a ticket for anybody, did anything against the law out there. I was always marking and walking the line. Always. And John used to stand up and say how good a sheriff I was at every damn democratic thing we had. Randy used to stand up and say it. I'm not so good now because I'm not in their ball field. I pissed them off and uh, <coughs> I'm sure John can get me aside. All right, let's quiet over here, please. Quiet. I'm not a part of this. Sure. Pardon me? I'm not a part of this motion. Sir, yes. Sir, yeah, I'm mean, sure if I am, you just finish up on the motion itself, please. So I ask you, let's not do this again. Because I have advice from my attorney that if we put George back in there without him going and get, you know, the great thing for George to do is to step down and say, let me go get qualified. Let me go get qualified, and we'll get behind you. I'll be a campaign manager. But I'm not going to put a guy back in there that's not qualified. I worked too damn hard to get the qualifications to where they were. You can't be a teacher. You can't be an attorney. You can't be a doctor. You can't be a nurse, a dentist, unless you meet the qualifications and pass the bar, pass their tests. Why any different? Why would you think that I'm above, that, that the office of sheriff's above the law and I don't have to do all those things? I do. I've done it. Do you think if I didn't make my 16 hours every year, I put in 200 some hours every year of extra curricular law enforcement studies, if I didn't meet my 16, you don't think you guys could throw me out in a heartbeat or some and the Republican side would attack that? Sure they would. But we make sure we meet those. I told the line on every aspect of it. And that's all I'm asking George to do. Told the line, George. You can do it. You can become the next sheriff. But right now, we don't keep the qualifications. Be a man, stand up and say, I'll go get it done, and then I'll come back. And I'll be behind 100%. Thank you. So we have a motion on the floor to be seconded. We have a motion to call the question. So you're addressing what the, the current question? I'm addressing the question on the floor. How about certifying all four people? I, I think it's fair that this committee understands. Um, first of all, Sheriff Swanson is a good sheriff. I don't have any problem with Tim Swanson. It's not about Tim Swanson. Nobody's questioning his credentials here. That's not what we're here for. I think there has to be a couple things you understand. The two attorneys that spoke, and you have the right to know this, our assistant prosecutors for John Ferraro. John Ferraro has a conflict of interest. Those attorneys should have a conflict of interest. You have every right to know that. They're not claiming that, but they're claiming some things about people up here. Second of all, sir, that is a. Uh, Randy, I need you to address the motion. Mr. Ferraro, please. Randy, you need to address the motion about qualifications, please. The second, the second, Mr. Ferraro, please. I'm addressing the issue. The Buckeye Sheriff's State Association. And this has to do with the motion on the floor, whether they're qualified or not. The very same organization that Tim just lobbied you, that he worked so hard for, Quiet, filed please. a brief in the behalf of George Myers saying he was qualified as the Stark County Sheriff. The Ohio State Buckeye Sheriff. 